Hello guys, this is Razor Game Dev, and welcome to the next episode in Let's Build a Platform in Love2D. So today we're going to be working on a renderer. Now, the reason why we need a renderer is because for a platformer, um, we're definitely going to need some layers. Layering is really awesome, really nice, and this will also help with efficiency, creating our own renderer. So starting off, I created a folder and a file named renderer.lua. So inside here, I'm going to say local renderer. Actually, I'm going to capitalize. Render is equal to a table. Then I'm going to return this render. Next, I'm going to say function render.create. And then I'm going to end it right there. And here I'm going to say local render. And this time, I'm not going to capitalize it. Man, this is, it's hard to t um, print this or type this, I guess. Um, oh, what am I doing? Return render. So this is just going to create a, a table for us. And so we're going to add some um, functions and stuff to this table. First things first, we're going to create a list of render, um, of uh, functions that we're going to, or a list of objects that we want to draw. So we're going to say uh, render dot draw, um, drawers, I guess. <laughs> um, we're going to say that, make it equal to the table. And then we're going to, we want multiple layering, so we're going to make, I'm going to say five layers. So up here, let's say local num of, I don't know, layers. I'm going to make it equal to five. So I'm going to say for i, um, for i is equal to zero, comma, num of layers, do. I'm going to say render dot drawers, man, this is kind of a bad name, but whatever. Once we're done with this uh, with this um, file, we're probably not going to look at it ever again. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, we just created a multi-dimensional array. So here we're going to say function um, render dot add render. We're going to pass an object and then a layer. Next, oh, come on out. Next, we're going to say local L is equal to layer, or or if we forget to pass in a layer, we're going to say zero in case it's nil. Um, up here, I like to uh, localize my global functions, so I'm going to say local insert is equal to uh, table dot insert, and then local remove uh, remove is equal to table dot remove. There we go. So we're going to say insert. The table that we want to insert into is self dot drawers. Um, here we're going to pass an L. That's the layer we want to insert the object into. And we're just going to pass an object. Next, we're going to make the actual draw call. So we're going to make a function, name it render dot draw. And in here, we're going to loop through all our um, drawer uh, drawers, I guess. So for uh, um, for layer is equal to zero, comma number of self dot drawers do. Next, we're gonna make we're gonna embed one of these. I'm gonna say for um, draw in or draw is equal to zero, comma number of can't type self dot drawers layer do. All right, so we're gonna say local obj is equal to self dot drawers. We're gonna create a localized um, object here just so it's easier to work with. And then draw. We're gonna say obj dot draw. All right, looking pretty good. So yeah, that should be the renderer for now. So let's go up here, and let's uh, yeah, let's test it out. So let's say local render is equal to require. Whoop. I'm gonna say tools forward slash render. I'm gonna say uh, look. Well, let's actually make it global. Render is equal to render dot create. Up here we're gonna say, or down here we're gonna say render 
dot or colon draw. So yeah, let's test this out and make sure we don't have it errors. Attempt index field draw a nil value. Uh, line 24. Well, let's fix that. Local self dot drawers. Oop, forgot the S. Let's go back into our main and build it again. Attempt to index local obj. Render 25. Um, if obj is not equal to nil, because sometimes we, we haven't uh, passed in any um, objects yet, so it's going to be nil. So let's build it again. And OK, we're working. Nice. So to help test this out, I've created a function over here. And I'm going to be doing this in our videos, so, um, in our videos so that I don't have to do a whole lot of typing on camera because you know how that goes. What this will do is create a box. It has a couple functions in here. And it'll just draw a, a rectangle um, and make it a random color every tick or so. So we're going to say uh, create box. We're going to say r1 is equal to create box. We're going to say 64, 64 for the position. r2 is equal to create box. And here I'm going to say 96, 96. Next I'm going to say r1.load and then r2.load. Next we'll, we'll, we'll create a um, object handler so we don't have to do all this. But for now this is how we're going to do it. So if we run this, we're going to test out see if it works. And it does. As you can see, there's certain there's layering right here. Oh, and I just remember we, we forgot to pass in the uh, did I? Yeah, I forgot to pass in layer. So let's make it I don't know, layer one. It's not gonna change how it turned out, but you can still see that you know one tri uh, the square is overlapping the other square, and it's rendering, which is exactly what we want. Anyway, guys, that'll uh, do for today. We'll go back. I'm sure we're gonna fix this up, add some other stuff, and comment it and do whatever. But for now, we're going to call it good. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Um, next, we should make a game loop. Um, so, yeah, bye.